The court's decision came in response to an application filed by Sherwood Global Outreach, an entity that seeking an order for the respondent to release a vehicle they had impounded with registration number GN2925-20 to the applicant. Despite the court's orders, the respondent repeatedly failed to appear before the court, leading to the issuance of the bench warrant. During proceedings on Monday, the lawyer for the applicant, Abraham Arthur, moved an application for the committal of the CID boss and the DG of the Legal and Prosecution Unit for contempt. The court found that the respondent had blatantly refused to honor its directives, prompting the issuance of the arrest warrant. The court had specifically ordered the IGP to order the Director General of the Criminal Investigation Department of the Ghana Police Service as well as the Director of the Legal and Prosecution of the Ghana Police Service to appear before the court on Monday morning. And while the orders had been carried out, the two respondents were not in court. According to the court, there was evidence on record to show that the court orders had been carried out and that there was affidavit of service indicating that the order of the court to serve on the IGP had been carried out. Again, the previous order was served on the IGP on March 26th. The presiding judge says the court has extended enough courtesy to these public officers and due to the fact that there is nobody above the law, he issued a bench warrant for the arrest of the respondents. Reporting from the court complex, my name is Richard Kujunyakun for Joy News.